So last time, last stream, I wandered around like a lost puppy for probably 50% of the stream looking for the, you know, looking for something really obvious. Uh, and we left off and I was getting frustrated and confused looking at the, this puzzle, um, which we've done a lot like it before and they've all kind of stumped me a little bit along the way. So. Now I need to think of what to do next here, and I think um, I think what I'd like to do is see if there's any markings around uh, that would actually help me, because there's nothing really in the book about it. If I look at the book, the last uh, entry about using the stones is that we used is this one, and then the mentioning. that the celestial spheres need to be well aligned, which I assume means those things. I was thinking that that last stream, I thought that must have meant it was a... Last stream, I thought that that meant I had to create an eclipse or something like that with the stones, but I think it was actually just referencing the stones in general, and then I need to align them to something in particular. So... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think that maybe there'll be something in the environment that might be a clue. And I looked around this room a lot last stream and I couldn't see anything. So I, I think I'm just going to walk through and see if I've missed something, like if I can pick up any notes or books Wait or I'll be back. anything. I keep on leaving Let's Sophia hurry. behind, which is <laughs> kind of uh, annoying. Yeah. So right now I'm just going to wander around this area as much as I can and see if there's anywhere else that I could go that I didn't go yet. Um, and last stream, one thing that tripped me up was the... Uh, I, I tried to move across, like scroll across, and it didn't because I apparently wasn't clicking on the correct pixel. So I'm just going to check for that here too. like. Clicking right on the edge of the screen. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely the area that I got confused at. Um, 
have to backtrack across this path. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was just looking at the uh, circles on the wall here, and there's obviously three circles. I don't know why I didn't realize this when I was looking at it before. I even last stream, I was looking at these circles going, oh, I wonder what this is. Why can't I interact with it? And if I just counted, oh, there's three circles, and realized that it has these little pit marks on it, I would have, I would have known what to do next, I think. This is glaringly obvious. I must have just been too tired last stream to be streaming. Uh, okay, so that's a triangle shape, so I'm guessing that's the volcano. It could be the city. Um, that could be a crescent moon or a full moon. And this definitely looks like the noon sun. So. If I just match that alignment, I'm just going to write that down, and we'll see if this works. Man, that looks obvious. I, I hope that it works, because... <laughs> I might try going back on a different path and see if it works. No. Oh, let me go here. Okay. There's multiple paths across the lava, it's not that scary. anything? I'm not sure. I think I did. Got my circle map. Um, yeah, that's a triangle for sure. Now, that symbol looks more like what I remember the symbol on the thing looking like. I'll try that first. Still nothing. Okay. Right, the other full moon. Uh oh. Okay. We got some action. I think I turned it on. You see? <laughs> of course. I told you chords would be of some use to us. Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell at dawn is your fear. Don't move. My God, how beautiful! Congrats! 
Is this Statue of the Colossus? It'll take more than a few aura calcum bombs to conquer the world of Luke. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Colossus, it has to be, right? Holiday barbecues? <laughs> Oh. While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling for a calcum. But now we have all we need. Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiments gonna rise. Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. Maybe they weren't quite human to begin with. Inhuman or subhuman? They were destroyed by their physical imperfection when they bathed in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. I think the heat in here has cooked your cabbages. Scientific discoveries belong to the poor, John. That's something you of all people should understand. Do you really believe this machine still works? Why not? Everything else we found here certainly does. Think of it. As a god, I shall know everything. Be everywhere. Rule everyone. We both shall rule here, Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Carla. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. <clears throat> Well, send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig, can we? Ooh. Now, if you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, must be me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless puppet. Activate the machine. Hmm. A test is a test. I thought the testing can be. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? I guess I'm gonna go with this answer, um, because we we do know that that was a problem. What about Plato's tenfold error? What about? I think Plato prescribed an aura calcum overdose. Hmm. Just a thought. Maybe right. We should divide by ten. Try one beat. One beat it is. I don't know if that was the right decision or not. I guess we'll find out soon. Timmy, it's talking. Like any of these options, I'll go with the first one. Yeah, no thanks. God hurts for egomaniacs like you. Move! Unless you want my men to move you. That's better. 
What makes you think you can outdo the old king? Silence, my boy. The oven and say didn't. Here goes. Hang on a second. Yeah, I don't know what. Um, yeah, let's go. Listen, what this option went the other way. unique. How do you mean? Dividing by ten didn't work, but multiplying might. All right, Chon, you decide. How many feet should be used? Let's go with a hundred feet. Shoot the works. Let's hope you pick the correct amount. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have to sit through one hundred. Let's see if this kills us. <laughs> I don't like that ending. I'm tempted to reload and just try a different ending. I think I'll do that. I don't know how much further the game goes after this point though. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll load up where we were before. Auto save. I can use that. You're making a big mistake, Kerner. How so? Ten beads may give you size ten antlers. Hmm. Just a thought. Maybe you're right. We should divide by ten. Try one beat. One beat is well, one beat killed him last time, so I assume it'll kill him again this time. Himmel, it's talking. Kind of gruesome animation, really. <laughs> convince someone else to go on, or how do I get out of this? Let's try this option. Thanks for the offer. Oh, was that the option? I think that might have been the option I chose last time. Whoops. I have a feeling this will kill me as well. Hang on a second. Okay. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should be used? None. No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Hey, Spiron, welcome back. I think I'm nearly done. <laughs> I think I'm at the end. I just had a death not long ago, so... Um, like I turned into some big ghost demon. And now I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of this situation without dying.
You know, you'd make a much better god than me. That goes without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose and to chance to become one of the lesser immortals. <laughs> I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man! Let's not take chances. How does pretty these sound? No, Bee. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John? Get a grip on yourself! I just don't think that I'm in a in a winnable situation here. I don't know if there's a way I can avoid getting on the platform. Show some spy, man. How many beads should we use? Okay. No, I just keep on saying no beads and trying to work out a way out of this. We still got a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, John. Wait a minute, let's go home. Stop fighting, man! How many feet should be used? Yeah, okay. I'm just walking in circles with this one, too. Will you stop with the feet talk? Really, Doctor, you must cooperate! Well, emphasizing that I must cooperate, maybe I have to... Maybe there is no way out of it. I don't know. Um, Byron, do you mean this option on the top here, or was it a previous dialogue that I clicked? All I know is that 100 beads gets me the, the ghost demon ending. So I'm going to go with one of the other three options, and I'm pretty sure this one just will, will loop me back to the start of the dialogue again. Yeah, I did the Plato's Era one. Yep. I think I did that one the last time to get to this point as well. I'm gonna go with who cares and see what happens. Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. In that case, let's try Plato's suggestion. There's ten. Eight, nine, ten beads. <laughs> This is the same ending. Oh, it looks the same so far. Maybe it'll change. Hmm. That's exactly the same as what happened last time. I don't know. Um, I really want to know if there's a good ending, but I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm wasting my time. If you, if it's inevitable, it shouldn't be. Indy should be able to get out. I'm gonna try and again. There must be a way out of this. Let's go with twenty. Twenty beads. Let's double Plato's dose. Let's hope you pick the correct amount. Eighteen. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah, there has to be a good ending. Like, <laughs> uh. 
I mean, you wouldn't if you can you imagine watching a movie of this and then Indy just dies at the end? There has to be a way out. Is it like is this too late in the game to get out of it? Maybe. All right, I've tried. I've tried all these options. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Okay, this this is something new. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that so like my death? <laughs> If you hear the term angry god, what do you see me? Hang on! Perhaps I haven't thought this through! You want to go fast! You're scheming against me in spite I think we found it. <laughs> well, you won't get the upper hand that way! Stand aside, Chorn! 98? I'm just hoping that I get knocked in the lava. <laughs> Here we go. that piece of gum through like more than half of the game. <laughs> I was so close to finishing when I ended the stream yesterday, but um, I realized today just how tired I must have been, because I, as soon as I started streaming, I was like, oh wait, this is pretty obvious, so just going through those dialogue options to find the right one to win. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales even to me. <laughs> At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What Thank you. For? Yeah. To ease the pain. That's my first playthrough of it. I'll probably play through it again sometime. Um, obviously not right now, but... Yeah, this is great. Happy to finally have done that. The next thing I need to do, work out, is what, what game to play next. Um, because I've only just started streaming not long ago. I can't even remember what I wrote down as the uh, list of games I'd like to play through. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, Robot City, Bam and Max Hit the Road, Martian Chronicles, Full Throttle, Seventh Guest, and Eleventh Hour. I've tried to get Robot City running uh, for the last couple of days and I haven't been able to get it working on this PC yet. Hmm. How are things going, Spyron? If you're still there. Hmm. 
see what's in my install games list. I've got Blade Runner, and I haven't played that yet, so I heard that was a really good one. Yeah, Full Throttle I've played through before as well. It's a good game. Uh, I want to play it again. It's been a long time since I played it, so I remember enjoying it a lot. I think I'll um I think I'll try Blade Runner since that's already installed. I don't know if I can change the title of the stream. What's your, where, where do you work, Spiron? Do you, uh, like what industry are you in, I guess? I should probably be reading this text. <laughs> I think it's just the normal Blade Runner, sort of. It's the same intro as you get from Blade Runner, pretty much. The movie. IT tech. I, I did um, a similar job actually when I was starting out. I was an IT tech at a, a primary school. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. Uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very my current job, I'm um. I don't want to. Off with no, Lucy. I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. <laughs> that is the price for humanity. Oh, please don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue. Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. It's been pretty easy for me working during COVID. <laughs> I've been working from home, so yeah, I can't complain. I haven't lost any work or anything.
last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. It'd probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? Hey, that's Couple good. Fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at so when you're alternating weeks, is that like working from home one week where, oh, and then in the school the, the next? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop <laughs> it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped yeah, that makes into sense. a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. The, no the, self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. The Blade Runner, like, franchise is based on Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, which... What am I going to do here? I don't, I've never played this before, so I'm just going to start talking to people, I guess. Um... Yeah, and that I just listened to the audio book of that uh, again Canvas the area. a few months ago. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Alright, he's on it. Canvas in the area. I don't know what, what he's going to come back with. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Okay. Yeah, um... I liked, I kind of liked the new one. It's, it's not, doesn't have the same vibe exactly, but it's still, I still enjoyed it. I know there was a lot of people who said they didn't, but I, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. All right. I guess I'm just going to go in. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Mm. Quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Man, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> Apparently that's not interesting enough to have dialogue about. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinions worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. <laughs> I 
I believe this is the disc from last night. Cool. We got some evidence. I hope. I don't know how to review the disc. Is there an inventory button or? Okay, combat. My precious one. I probably should have looked at the manual for this before I started playing it, but okay, there you go. So I've got chrome, which the guy said was horse chrome. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, right. indicating a possible injury or lameness. Yeah, I listened to that I'm already. absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this hate. Oh, I play it. Okay. This is interesting. Might have to go somewhere to use the video disc. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, I'd love to play it. It sounds great. The everything I've seen so far in the media has been pretty good. Ruined. Totally ruined. Can I walk around in this? I can. Okay. My mouse. Hang on. For what? My precious one. She was my baby. And you? I, you're looking forward to it as well? I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Doesn't look like there's much more interactive in here. I can't go upstairs or anything. Time to go. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Mm. Act of vengeance. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. All right, but is that some evidence or something? See. Scratches and yeah. scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Yeah, I didn't play The Witcher until long after it had come out, so uh, I kind of felt like I'd missed out <laughs> when I started playing it. I was like, "Oh, I should have played this a long time ago." But I'm looking. I am looking forward to Cyberpunk. I think it's going to be good. Doesn't tell me what these buildings are. How do I know which one to go to? I guess this is the biggest one, so that might be Tyrell. <laughs> was that an advertisement for um, like there was a PC Arena ne neon sign? Was that an advertisement for an online gaming platform? I don't know if that was a real thing or not. Uh, 
I don't even know what building I'm in. <laughs> I'm on the roof, so I'll go to three, I guess. Might be the police station or something. Oh, I talked to that guy. Got oh, anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant, it's from a ground car. Yeah. You sure? You get, you're going to go straight for the PS5 on launch, or are you going to wait a little bit? Spinner drivers clutching enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Yeah, every time a new console launches, that's. It's a hard decision to make for me. Because I have so many games I still haven't played. So a new console means more games that I'm not going to play. What did he just tell me? It didn't help me much. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody... Scratches and okay. paint flecks, and annoying. I knew what they meant. I'll try a different floor. Mainframe and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off world service. Okay. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders' meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated. I'm probably going to wait on it. A um, years ago, but the individual unit in yeah, I've got too many games. <laughs> the PS5 does look pretty good, though. Brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training. I like the look of it. Visually, it looks days, great. Even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. If it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I okay. thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. <laughs> I'll tell you, That's it looked like the brutal. goddamn Fourth of July out there. <laughs> guy's just laughing about it. Man, I guess this is like a training course for weapons. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Oh. That was not a hostile. <laughs> Oh, he's got a gun. I think I'm dead. Or I have to reload. Oh, he had a gun. Oh yeah, double click I think to run. Please. 
They're everywhere. I didn't hit one of them. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks for joining me for the time you did. That was great. Have a good day. I think I've killed a heap of civilians. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. How many stations there are? Got a baby. <laughs> oh. I'm not being very nice to the civilians. Oh, I missed. <laughs> the one guy I hit that time was a civilian. Who was he? the next station. Completed sequence. Proceed okay. to next station. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. I don't know where the next station is. Oh, it's over there. Team. Well, at least we're not dead last. <laughs> we bet Deckard. <laughs> Alright, maybe I can actually play the video in here. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. So there's an animal murder in, in here, and we're supposed we're looking for the people who committed the crime. We're hoping that we could see them in these videos. 
It's just like the movie. I can't remember if in the movie was it something like they got they got something off the reflection of a screen obviously this isn't entirely based on the movie but found anything on this one. Before I get to the next next one. Run setter crime scene. Alright. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. get the other guy's reflection or something. Doesn't look like it. Oh, well, got something. That's good. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. The angle of impact was almost head on, and there ain't too many spinner drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. Hmm. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled. Graceful, even. Quite a pair. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. I feel like I should have the manual with me to play this. Did that add any new data? It doesn't look like it. I saw it. Yeah. Okay. All you can do in here, I guess. So we went in level three and two now. I guess we'll try level one. Ground floor. Oh. 
nobody to talk to down here. I exit. Okay, that, this is the boss, okay. Uh, I don't know if you'll give me more instructions. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Just trying to get the manual out of the box that I have. Because the in-game, like, the navigation with the car didn't really... I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I just guessed to the, correctly to get to the police station. Is there anything in the basement? Prisoners, okay. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Nothing to do here. Back to the car. I love the design of the, the uh, spinner cars. They look great. I wish we had cars that looked something like that these days. if we get to do some void camp training or something. I didn't see anything like that at the police station. They mentioned the void camp in the manual though. Your floor number, please. Floor number? Apartment. McCoy. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. In the Blade Runner universe, it's animals are worth a lot of, a lot of money. <laughs> This it's just a TV or Oh it's another Esper, okay. And the um set design looks exactly like the movie. Paid a lot of attention to detail in this game. balcony or the kitchen or whatever this is. Not sure what this is. Bathroom? I guess. <laughs> Violent street crime in the city rose again last year okay. by a whopping 26% according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised oh. a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. It's been a while since I've watched Blade Runner, but I don't remember them mentioning specials in Blade Runner movie. But in, um, in the book, um, specials are like, basically, people who have genetic or mental disabilities.
portrait of the sleep deprived. I guess it's the next day <laughs> or the next night. Nothing else to do in the apartment, so I'll just get out. Your floor number, please. Apartments. I, I want to exit. Ground floor. Ground floor. Roof. Roof. Roof is what I want. I actually picked up a um, collector's edition of the Blade Runner movie really cheap at a garage sale. Okay, how come that's the only building with a hover text? Oh, okay, if I hover for long enough, they come up. That would have been helpful to know. Need three buildings to figure that out. <laughs> I guess I'll ask if um if anybody recognizes people in the photo. I can. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Okay. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. This is all very Find useful anything information. Else out here? Zilcho. Real actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. <laughs> hmm. So, hmm. I can't question the people he questioned. Oh, God. About, thir about 30 counts of animal murder. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Yeah. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding we, away from the scene. We knew that there was a black sedan from... Well, we knew there was a black car. Now we know it's a sedan from the uh, fire hydrant evidence that we got paint chips off. The big guy that he mentions, I wonder if he's in the photo. Wait, get the photos. We got this guy, but then there was a guy behind him in here. I don't think we can look at it without the Esper machine. No reason to look in the bin. He didn't want to look in it last time. I'll try again. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. <laughs> Alright. They didn't find Fire any evidence check in for there. a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure oh. the lab boys run them through the mainframe. Human and rep. Cool. So we got some evidence off the door. I didn't realize that the door was a green uh, cursor. Can, can I question think of this anything guy anymore? They might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? 
Do you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolbig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Over where? Uh, over here, I guess. I replaced. Hmm. A toy dog. Oh. Well, isn't that cute? That's not evidence, whatever that is, okay. This is. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. So, somebody there might know her. Go see if we can find that place. Is there anything else I can ask this guy? See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Cool. It's weird that you have to just keep asking, like, keep trying to talk to them. You don't get dialogue tree options like a lot of other games would give you. Here you are. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. All right. I've exhausted him at the moment. Whoops. I don't want to shoot anyone. <laughs> I don't want to look at my inventory. All right. Reference letter. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. Okay. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for yep. about a month. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I need in there myself. You can go there. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. <laughs> a few patrons I can, well there's one patron I can talk to and a couple of staff. McCoy, LPD, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry my man, I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. Maybe I can get out back too. Huh? Yes. Howie says you're a master chef. Do not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old, with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Okay. Just keep asking. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to find any evidence back here, so... I'll go back to the front and talk to Howie. Beautiful night, isn't it? 
When business thriving, night always beautiful. <laughs> this from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped to come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just months. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're a prince, Howie. See you later, Howie. See if we can get something out of this guy, then. You're a pretty smart-looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a boat. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. And he might be a replicant the way he's walking. <laughs> the um the chef out back, he's new as well, so he could be a replicant. I have to look at that Esper again, but he might he might qualify for the guy in the background. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. This would be the Void Camp test. Ah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Am I just going to let him go? Oh. Who is this guy? I don't know who he is. Not me. I want to click on the other guy. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some ginion? Sorry, pal. All I got are hundreds. <laughs> hey, that'd work. Hey, Pop. No, okay. I might have lost this guy. What happened? Totally uninteresting. Yeah. What's that? Totally uninteresting. Okay. Just stop getting distracted. <laughs> That's some wow. really nice. Atmospherics. What did he say? Locked. Locked. Okay. Uh, Locked. Yeah, I don't have any way to get in there. It was locked, apparently. That's it. Oh, I lost him. I'm going to go back and talk to the owner and see if he can help me out. Lighting on the character models is interesting because it, it's obviously not like true 3D, but they blend into the scene so well in terms of lighting. Pretty impressive for the. These came out in '97, I'm pretty sure. See you later, Howie. Okay, I can't ask him about the guy. All right, what evidence do I have on him? Zoom in. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Alright, I wonder if I can get some prints from out back to match the scene. Like, there's stuff all over the place that he's touched, but I can't click on anything. Alright. 
Seems like something I should have been able to do. That music can get pretty uh, repetitive. <laughs> I'll go back to the HQ and check if I can get some data on those fingerprints. I'm playing this off of the GOG version, but I did get the, um, I did manage to get a copy of it in, you know, the original, so having the manual on hand is helpful, but I think I've got everything I need from it now. Um, Mainframe and shooting range. Mainframe, that's where I want to go. Which room's the mainframe room? This one. Run setter, crime scene. I wish I could enhance this section of the photo where the, the guy in the background is. That could be him. That could be Zuben. We know we've got this guy's face. Oh, look at that. He looks familiar. He's got the suspenders on as well, and he's got the same build. I reckon Zuben might be, uh, like, he might be a strong suspect at this point. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. How do I check the fingerprints? Maybe it's in... Where did I get the candy? I don't remember picking this up. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And Ogilvy's he's a very reputable wholesaler. Guess I'll see if I can find that. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Where do I find the fingerprints? That's what I want to know. <laughs> um. I guess it could have been the other suspect. I haven't even checked the factory bombing yet. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? Yeah. It's from a ground car. The angle of impact was almost head on, and there ain't too many spinner drivers clutchy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. Apparently the door being forced is a replicant clue. Alright. I think I can get to... what was the name of that place again? <laughs> I want to say Ogilvy's, but I don't think that's right. If 
way I can navigate the map. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. <laughs> November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. <laughs> you assume that something went down after that? Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? Well, we have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe mm -hmm. you. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef. Makes all okay. kinds of new suits. Alright. So that open up new locations on the map to go investigate. Alright. I guess it's just not my case. Why do I have the data for it then? Oh, I did download it, crap. Whatever he's cleared out, maybe I'll be able to find some more evidence on the ground now that they're gone. gotten all I can from that. Okay. There was a lot of uh, animals killed in here and I don't know where else to look. I guess I'll try out the back again. Didn't miss anything. Alright. If I go back, um, 
first I'll just check what what evidence I have on this on the animal murder case. Um, I've got so much evidence, and I'm pretty sure our suspect Zubin is the is one of the guys, and the other guy we haven't got a name for yet. Um, but if we can catch up with this guy, we might we should be able to get his name. Um, so, photographs not useful. Video clips. We lifted the photos from it, so that's not useful. Audio recordings in all our interviews, I think. I want the information connected I to this. Check for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. I also want to know she how came I can to go with the reference from here. Ogilvy's in the northwest Ogilvy's. zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. How do I get there? Probably that should show up on my map. I think I'm missing something here. Sorry, bear with me. Dinner. Thing. Get around LA. Blade Runners travel in police spinners. Spinner allows McCoy to fly from one area to another in style. Climb inside by clicking. Once inside, see a map of the city. Pertinent locations re relevant to your investigation. Click on your desired destination and your onboard navigation system will do the rest. As you make progress, the map will expand to include more locations to explore. I guess I have to do something to trigger it to expand then to new areas. Um, maybe I didn't exhaust the Chinatown area. There are other people to talk to here perhaps? Why can I talk to the random passers-by in the background? Does this badge mean anything to you? <laughs> Excuse me, pal. McCoy, LPD. Just ignore me. <laughs> oh, I can go around this, this side. I didn't do that yet. Maybe I can find some evidence that the other guy dropped. I chased him through here. Hey. Like a car non plate. Yeah. That could be off of the uh, black sedan, so that might be what we need to progress. We already searched around here and there was only two interesting things that he said weren't useful. And then that, I think, was just a dead-end hallway. Wow. 
locked. No crowbars or other obvious evidence lying around. I guess I'll search that dumpster again, just in case, because like in the dialogue options, when you talk to someone, he just asks a question and then you have to talk to him again like three or four times to get all the information from him. Maybe the dumpster's the same. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Yeah. Okay. I'll take one more pass through the kitchen as well. Before I head back to the HQ. Yeah. Feels like I should have been able to get some fingerprints from this stuff. Try and match them to the door, even if they wouldn't be a match. Feel like I'm doing something useful. <laughs> Alright, can't talk to this guy. McCoy, LPD. All, right. All right, off to HQ and we'll run that that license plate and hopefully get something. Man, the imagery in this game matches the movies so well. No, I want the lab, which I think is on level 3. Actually, the lab might have more results now that I think about it. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runcitus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, oh, okay. Runcitus was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles <laughs> beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcitus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. Okay. So we just got some more evidence. I, sh I should have known to talk to that guy more than once. Alright. So in that... How I run this plate, I don't know. We know that fifty percent of the, you know, they were they had replicant animals. And the guy told us when we talked to him. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Mainframe and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Uploading personal clue database. 
thing of that license Downloading plate will come back through this system. Database. Clue database transfer complete. So we know the make of the car, and we have a license plate. Surely that's enough for us to get some kind of destination. There has to be some way I can associate this with something. That's the shooting range. Hey, pal. <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, pal. <laughs> Just a random guy walking through. I can say hey, pal to him, but that's it. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Hmm. That's really annoying. I don't know what to do with this license plate. Maybe I'll be able to match it to a car that I find at some other location. Hopefully I have some more locations on my map now. Okay. No new locations. Back to the apartment, get some rest maybe. Maybe that'll reveal something. <laughs> Um, Zuko. He's taking a lot of hits. Now some other random guy is walking up. I hope that was a. I hope that was somebody trying to attack me. <laughs> Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting <laughs> to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. Okay. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Was it Nexus Fives in the movie? Or I don't know. Can't talk to him. Gee, it's going to be hard to click on that. Yuck. Area. Yuck. Yuck is the only... Alright, so I just killed someone. A replicant, hopefully. <laughs> Actually, let me just check um, the suspect list, because if I... Right, it doesn't seem to show that he was the one that I killed. Hmm. 
Your floor number, please. Apartment. Ground floor. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Good doggy. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Huh. I didn't feed the dog last time I was home. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Not very nice of me. <laughs> Can't really, like, interact with the dog very Maggie, much more than come that. Here, girl. I, I wonder if the dog's a replicant. <laughs> Scene. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Hmm. But he was Zubin. I wonder if my... Now that he's given us the dialogue... It's like it hasn't updated to say he's deceased or anything. Or retired, I should say. It's cool to be out here on the balcony and just look at the city, but there's not much, uh, not much going on. Just there for dramatics. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Alright, a dream. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Well, that's weird. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say oh! <laughs> when you control your rat, I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred Chihuahua. <laughs> totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation. Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work. Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good with the holes deep meaning for me. Grab your research on Nexus 6. I need test studies, contacts, wow. and what? Only specific leaders. Expert. Terrestrial gravity. <laughs> One more minute. You be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Mirage, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA row. They're all working down on DNA, DNA Road. You one miserable package, man. No! No, please, don't! Alright. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we 
also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs in her deal or not. Tyrell security will have a disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Listen to the news, I guess. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Alright, let's look at our clues now. There's so much going on, and I just want to solve this one crime. I've got nothing on these new cases. Oh wait, I've got the wrong thing selected. Okay. I checked with you and Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. Well, that's the phone call we just had. I'll listen to that again later when I forget what was in it. <laughs> right. Feed the dog before we go. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Actually, I haven't gone to the ground floor in here yet, so I'm going to just quickly try that. See what's down there. Could be something cool. Oh, I can just wander the streets. Oh, well. Something about this scene reminds me of the... Um, the Blade Runner VR experience. All right. <laughs> Number, please. I might just go travel to a new location and then um, have a quick look around and then call it a night. I will do that. I am getting tired again. And I don't want to wander around in circles for a half an hour wondering why I can't solve a simple puzzle. <laughs> Alright, we've got this new location up here, a rail building, bigger than I remember it. From the movie, I haven't played this game, but it's bigger than I remember seeing it in the movie. McCoy, LPD. Okay, just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? Hmm. He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. 
I guess I have to always go back to the, um, the mainframe room to lo actually look at the video. One of Tyrell's employees got his fat. Oh, right. One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Oh. Yeah, the soundtrack in this game is not really doing it for me. <laughs> if you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. That is a horrible sound. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. Wow, the killer okay. was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Yeah, especially since he shot the camera. Um, Alright, there's not a lot of evidence, uh, like lying on the floor or anything. If you like spot anything in. you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I'll investigate the body again just to Disgusting. make sure. That's Disgusting. it. Disgusting. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not mm. just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. That is not where I wanted to click. Check this computer again, just to make I sure... I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendeller's password was. Wrong again, and this time I was locked out. Tyrell security was even better than I'd heard. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. That's, uh, oops. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Okay, like the so cheap crap by. sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge... Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just one. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. Yep. Right. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. Hmm. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. Hmm. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your hmm. case. We'll see. All right. Oh wow, it's actually a help menu in here. This would have been useful to find earlier. Well, I think um, that's all I'm going to do today, and I will be back on tomorrow streaming more Blade Runner, and I will progress through this as far as I can. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself with this one. It's the first time I've played it as well, so 
I got a few bucket list games that I want. I've been meaning to get onto for a while, so it's good to actually be here and get to get get onto it. So, yeah, thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate that. And uh, anybody who's watching the vods, thank you. And uh, consider following me. And yeah, I'll be on tomorrow again around the same time. So for me, that's around seven thirty, eight o'clock uh, in the evening. Um, AEST. Alright. Thanks, see ya.